welcome back to Ostrich Investing. This video is going to be a little bit different than most here on the channel, uh, but after watching Apple stock appreciate by 35% in just three months, I thought that this was a really interesting case study in market sentiment and just how quickly it can change and of course the large share price movements it can cause. And I thought what was particularly interesting is that this is with one of the largest companies in the world. So everyone knows about Apple, so this video is not going to really focus on the fundamentals of the stock, but it's rather we're going to go back in time to December and then fast forward to today and look at the changes. So back in December, there were news articles like this. Apple stock sinks as concerns over slowing iPhone demand take hold. This is back in November 2018. Lumentum said one of its largest customers asked for a reduction in 3D sensing diode shipments. Apple was Lumentum's largest customer. The, uh, what this did is it led to the stock decreasing from about $225 back in September to less than $150 a share in December. In fact, on Christmas Eve, it was at $146.83. Uh, and yeah, I think that was the low for December. Now, if we pull up their 10K, you can just see the select financial data here, and we're not going to spend too much time on this, but if you recall, uh, this is a company that earned for the 2018 fiscal year about $12 per share in earnings. And this is a company that has $237 billion worth of cash. Now they do have some, some net debt as some debt as well, not debt debt, not net debt, sorry. They have some debt, but if we just purely look at that cash, and that's about $50 per share in cash. So at $150 per share, you've got $50 per share in cash. Back in December. The company was trading at a cash adjusted PE of eight times, if you do the math on it. Then what happened on January 3rd, and you can see it here, uh, the stock price dropped by about 10%. And that was the day that uh, Tim Cook uh, wrote a letter to Apple investors where they issued a press release and they essentially warned uh, that their Q1 2019 results were going to come in below expectations. So we won't spend a ton of time going through it, but uh, we are revising our guidance for ASP, Apple's fiscal 2019 first quarter, which ended December 29th. So it had just ended and they basically came out and said, look, our revenue is going to be lower than what we originally thought. And he goes on to say a bunch of things about the health of the business. Uh, they talk about the currency. Uh, they talk about the iPhone upgrade cycle and some challenges in emerging markets. But a press release with negative guidance for Q1, the stock price went down by, again, 10% uh, on that day to $142. We fast forward to the current day. Between now and then, uh, Apple did report uh, their first quarter results, uh, more or less in line with the negative pre-announcement. Uh, EPS reached an all-time high for the quarter, but they did see some negative growth in, in iPhone sales. Again, purpose of this video isn't really to dive into the fundamentals so, so much uh, because the fundamentals haven't really changed much over the last three months. But if we fast forward again to the current share price is $191 per share. This, if we think about the $50 in cash, uh, is means the company is trading at a cash adjusted PE of 12 times. So it went from a PE of eight times at the end of December to a PE of 12 times. So what's the conclusion here? Market sentiment obviously can be a huge driver for stocks. At the height of the fear in December, Apple traded down to eight times cash adjusted earnings or 100, about 142 per share. Fast forward three months to today, the stock is up 35% to $191 per share or 12 times cash adjusted earnings per share. So the multiple has gone up. 
nothing really fundamentally has changed with the stock. Uh, you, can, you can argue that a little bit, but really fundamentally the story hasn't changed in the three months. Um, but market sentiment has improved dramatically. And I think it is important to note that obviously the sentiment for Apple's improved, but the sentiment for the overall market has, has greatly improved. But you know, the value of one of the largest companies in the world went from about $600 billion just three months ago to $900 billion. Uh, so a 35% move in the value of one of the largest companies in, in the world. I thought it was interesting to note how quickly that can change and the impacts of market sentiment. So that's it for today. Just a quick one, just a, a fun one. Hope you, hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back soon with, with more content. But until then, happy investing and don't bury your head in the sand.